morning you guys i haven't woken up in 5 a.m in a while it's been like a couple months now but apparently the internet really likes these type of videos so i decided to make another one it's honestly just like a challenge i like to do for myself once in a while to kind of like push myself and it honestly feels really rewarding usually at the end of waking up really early so i feel like i haven't done it in a while and i just wanted to do it again and document how it made me feel so it's actually pretty dark outside this guy just started to kind of lighten up a little bit but it was so nice to hear the birds chirping in the morning like they're still going at it but damn like i really had to shove myself out of bed because i didn't get to bed last night until like 11 p.m and usually when i wake up at five i like going to bed at like nine so i might need to take a nap today but that's okay at least i got myself up so i'm proud of doing that joel's still sleeping in the bedroom so i can't really like make the bed yet so yeah i guess we have some time to kill i'm gonna just do my normal morning routine and then just wait till it gets light outside to go and do my yoga outside i'm not gonna have my coffee until later in the day just because i know that if i have it now i'm just gonna crash and i also don't like having my coffee first thing in the morning would be really nice to have a coffee right now though like it would be so helpful but we're gonna stick it out a little bit i'm actually gonna quickly unload the dishwasher because i realized i put it on yesterday so may as well just unload it well it's literally the crack of dawn right now okay let's do it I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping, but it's so nice right now. Like the sun is just rising and the birds are going off. I've never heard them like this loud before. It's so pretty. But I'm just gonna sit here now, have my moment of peace in the morning. I'm gonna read my Deepak Chopra book. This is the seven spiritual laws to success. Um, I just read a chapter of this every day, like I said in my morning routine. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm also just gonna drink my water and kind of enjoy the sun rising. But it's actually pretty cold right now. Like I had to wrap myself in this blanket. But anyways, let's get reading. right now but it is so beautiful so so worth waking up at five i feel like this is gonna motivate me to maybe do this more often here or maybe even get into a schedule of waking up at five i'm definitely gonna do like another waking up at 5 a.m for a week in my life video because last time i did it i didn't stop waking up at five and then fast forward like three months now i stopped again but last time i did that video it motivated me to keep waking up at five for a few months and then i just stopped when i moved so maybe i have to do a video like that again let me know if you want to see this video, but in a week's version again. There's absolutely nobody on this beach right now. I just finished my yoga and my meditation and I feel so freaking just like zen and good right now. I don't know what it is, but like the early morning, it hits different than just the regular morning. Like the, the vibes are calmer. It's just kind of a feeling where you wake up and you know a lot of people are not awake. So it's a lot more like peaceful. I don't know how to describe it, but my meditation was so good. And there's no one else on this beach right now. And it just makes it so peaceful and calming. And it's just like so beautiful and nice. But yeah, that was just like, 
amazing. I forgot how much I actually do like waking up early as much as I have to force myself. I really do enjoy it like in the moment, but only after I actually get myself out of bed. But this is my little setup here. I'm just on this beach um, mat that I use for literally everything. I use it for tanning, for doing my yoga. It's really cute and I love it. It's like this material that can't really get wet, so it's perfect. And it doesn't get dirty either because the sand just like brushes off of it. But yeah, this is my little yoga setup. I just made a quick breakfast. I usually intermittent fast, but I just got so hungry and wanted to eat before I go out on a walk. But this has been my guilty pleasure recently. It's just like toasted bread with Nutella and strawberries on top, and it's just so good. And then I just made myself some scrambled eggs with some pepper on top. But yeah, that's the breakfast for today. So I just got back from my hot girl walk and then I just honestly finished taking a nap because I couldn't stay awake. You see the thing is, is that if I wake up at 5 a.m. consistently and if I go to bed at a good time, I don't really need a nap. But the thing is, is that I only had like six hours of sleep, so I was exhausted when I got back and I just had to take a nap. So that just happened. But now, better than ever, I feel so energized and now we're gonna have a coffee soon. So it's gonna keep me like for the rest of the day. So we'll be good. But I'm just gonna get ready and do my makeup now. I really wanted to share with you guys the mantra from my meditation that I was doing today because it like really stuck with me. Today, I embrace my potential to be, do, and have whatever I can dream. And I've been repeating to myself since I heard it because a lot of the times it's like really easy to have limiting beliefs and making a million excuses why you can't do something instead of why you can do something. Sometimes like we're all human, even if we have like a positive mindset about something, sometimes our brain gets in the way, like our human brain gets in the way and we think of a million reasons why it's not a good idea to do something, why we're gonna quote unquote fail and it's really easy just to kind of go down the negative spiral and not believe in ourselves but we just have to keep reminding ourselves that we are abundant and even if you don't believe it and it's hard for you to actually like have that mindset for real just repeating these mantras and affirmations every day and kind of like working towards shifting your mindset to believing it doing meditations journaling about it like whatever it is just like repetition you will eventually start to actually believe in yourself and you will start to tap into all that abundance that is out there for you the thing is is that when you manifest something like you already have it like it's you already put that into the universe it's already there you just kind of have to tap into it and it'll arrive in divine timing and it's like sometimes i really have those like days or minutes or whatever it is that i doubt myself but this is kind of like how i like to envision being on a journey so imagine you're on a boat like a little boat and you're paddling the universe Jesus, God, whoever you envision is at the front of the boat. And they're kind of just like guiding the boat, like steering it. Are you gonna ask every like day, am I gonna get there? How am I gonna get there? You can't do that because you just have to trust that you're gonna get guided there. And as long as you row the boat, you're gonna keep going in the right direction. And you just have to trust that. And that's how I kind of like to look at it in a little like picture analogy. And it really helps me sometimes because when I have the little doubts in my head, um, or whatever comes in the way of me accessing my potential and abundance in life um, I kind of envision that and I'm like I just have to keep rolling and that's my one job and you just have to realize that your success your abundance in life your potential is limitless and we all have it we all are here to serve like different purposes in life and as long as you tap into what makes you happy truly and you follow that path that abundance is going to come and when I talk abundance I don't just mean like money but I mean abundance in every aspect of your life. It's so important to just keep rowing your boat and stay in the present moment. Thinking about the past or the future can bring up so much doubt, can bring up so many questions on how and why, obstacles and problems. But if you just keep rowing the boat and just focus on rowing the boat and that's it and stay in the present, then 90% of those obstacles aren't even going to be a thing anymore because they're all kind of made up in your head that you're worrying about whether they're going to be in the future or whether they were in the past. So. I don't know, I just like 
I've been really thinking about that lately. I've been doing a 21 day series of Deepak Chopra's um, meditations and they're just like 15 minutes each. But what I really like about them is for like half of the time, he's like giving you a life lesson. There's a mantra on each meditation and then he talks about it. So that was like the, the mantra that I said earlier. Every time I do it, I learn something and it just puts me in the best mood. But anyways, I'm just gonna finish my makeup, do a little time lapse. Oh my God, I've also randomly been obsessed with Kara and Nate on here on YouTube. They have like a travel channel. I've been going down like a rabbit hole of their videos and I love them so much. They just have like the most insane videos and they're so good. I am just loving watching them. But anyways, I'm just gonna put on one of their videos and then continue doing my makeup. made myself an iced coffee it's so good i just put like a little bit of oat milk in it it's just like drip coffee cooled with some sugar and then oat milk so now i'm just gonna do some work some editing i gotta edit at least a video today or some of a video and then i'm also in the process of like looking at airbnbs for the months ahead because we are not staying in here forever like this is just a few months stay in this one and i have the next one booked but i'm so excited because madison my younger sister and her boyfriend connor are coming to visit us and we're going down to the algarve in portugal so we're moving locations i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun um but anyways everything like requires a lot of planning because when they're here we're actually gonna go to paris italy and then london and that's already all booked i've seen book one airbnb and we're also gonna go to disneyland paris which i'm so excited for but yeah so now since we're living kind of on the road for now it requires a lot more planning and kind of like thinking okay what do we want to do in a few months from now because sometimes when you go look for airbnbs like there's not going to be that good of a selection if you just look like a couple weeks in advance so you want to make sure that you're kind of thinking ahead but yeah and i'm currently like in the process of getting my portuguese passport but that is definitely going to take too long so i'm definitely going to have to go back home eventually and i don't know i'm just kind of taking every day day by day and seeing what happens i don't know i feel like life is just a journey and part of what makes it so exciting right now is not really knowing what's gonna happen in a few months it's like kind of just up in the air out in the open so i'm excited i'm really excited for that yeah it's funny because i've never really realized how much the sun affects my mood and just like being here every day when it's like mostly sunny every single day it makes me so happy and really inspired back at home like but just before I left, like I just was not feeling my best because of the rain and like the weather and I just was feeling so like uninspired. I was so excited to just leave. And now that I'm here, I realize like how much the sun really affects me and how much it's vital to like be inspired. Don't get me wrong though, like I do like a cozy rainy day, but when it's like that every single day, it gets very depressing. I'm gonna get started on my work for the day. Um, it's actually kind of exciting like getting to go Airbnb hunt um because that's like part of my work now i have to plan ahead and kind of book things so i'm excited but yeah let's do some work bit later you guys it is currently 7 30 i was just like working all day i'm trying to get better at posting like sh youtube shorts more on my instagram more on tiktok because short form content is just so popular right now and like i never want to stop doing obviously youtube this is like what i like doing like if i'm honest i don't like creating short form content nearly as much as i like doing youtube videos but i kind of realized that it's like okay what if short form content just takes over and then youtube like no one watches youtube anymore i need to adapt and because this is my job like this is my livelihood so i can't just not keep up with the trends so i don't know i just kind of feel the pressure and the need to start posting youtube shorts to start posting more tiktoks to start posting more instagram reels because i know that's what the social media platforms are pushing out right now so i've been trying to post more short form content just in general and it's really easy to like repurpose everything which is nice but comment down below by the way okay because me and joel were talking about this and we were saying like we wonder if the new generation even watches youtube videos when i think of people who like 
watch youtube videos they're all around like my age or older and then everybody that i know that's like younger than me like my younger sister madison she doesn't even watch youtube like she just watches tiktok and like short form content so i'm like does the younger generation even watch youtube anymore i don't know like comment down below how old you guys are if you watch youtube well obviously you watch youtube if you're watching this but like what's your thoughts on that because it's really interesting i've always been like a youtube girly like growing up that's like all that i watch and even with tiktok came out like i still religiously watch youtube and i love it but i just got groceries in we've been ordering our groceries because we don't have a car here and so we really have no way of getting to the big grocery store unless we like uber Okay, so I'm just about to go to bed. Overall, I survived the day because I had a nap, but like after my nap, I felt so energetic and I was fine for the rest of the day. If I get a good amount of sleep, I don't even need a nap. It's just because I didn't go to bed at nine, so I didn't get like a full eight hours. But a tip that I have if you guys like have trouble falling asleep at night and you want to go to bed earlier is read a book instead of going on your phone before bed. And this might seem like super cliche, but trust me, it works. Reading before bed, even if it's like an entertaining book, at least for me, it makes me super tired. And lately I've just been feeling like I've been spending way too much time on my phone, like in between every break that I have during the day, I'm like scrolling on my phone. I just feel like it consumes so much of my day. So I've been making it a point to stay off my phone recently and just be more intentional about it. And it's made the world of a difference in my mental clarity and everything. And it's like the best thing that I can do for myself is like setting boundaries with my phone because it's so easy to get so addicted to it and just never stop scrolling. And I saw this video and it was like, what if you were watching a movie and the main character was just on their phone the whole time? The movie wouldn't be interesting. And it's like the same thing about your life. If you're just on your phone your, th your whole life, you're wasting your time because your face is shoved into a screen. You're not experiencing new things. You're losing out on opportunities. And it's just like this whole thing. Yeah, I've just been trying to be a lot more intentional of when I go on my phone because I just feel like it's so important, especially nowadays when like everything is online, my job is online. And it just makes me feel so much better, like kind of separating myself from my phone. And that's why I make a point of not going on my phone every morning for a few hours and at night now. Then in between, like in the middle of the day, I limit my phone. But anyways, I've been reading It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. It's like the book after it ends with us. But yeah, like reading before bed just puts me right to sleep and it's the best thing. So if I ever need to go to bed early, that's what I'll do. And I've just been trying to do that in general, honestly, because it makes me feel so much more mentally clear. Even like in the morning when I wake up, like not having gone on my phone and consuming like 2000 TikToks before I go to bed, it just makes me feel so much mentally better. So yeah, I just thought that I'd share that with you guys because nowadays it's like, it's so normal just to consume like more than half of your day on your phone. And if you look at your average screen time, it could be kind of scary. I don't want it to consume my life. But anyways, that is the end of today's video. I'm just gonna get ready for bed and go to bed. I'm not gonna wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow again, but I will be doing a full week in my life waking up at 5 a.m. soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Good night.